How are you guys doing? It's a good time. Way to go out and get drunk on a Wednesday. We don't have jobs. It's cool. Let's just, let's be honest about our futures. It's good. It's good. It's cool. I, you ever see something, this happened to me this week, you ever see something that makes perfect sense where you're just like, ah, I get life now. Like, like a, when a bird craps on a trophy wife or like a fat kid falls off a scooter and you're like, ah, God is at work. I get it. This makes sense. <laughs> I, was, I was in Hollywood, you know, and uh, I saw a homeless guy. You know how homeless guys always have like t-shirts that you get for free, like a radio station t-shirt or whatever? Homeless guy had a t-shirt from the TV show Survivor. I was like, you know what? That makes perfect sense because that's what your life is like every single solitary day. It's just a constant challenge to find food and shelter and stuff, except no one's watching and you're never ever going to get a million dollars. Just scabies or whatever. <laughs> so, scabies are rampant, people. Don't fool yourself about it. <sighs> All right, good start, good start. I have a weird relationship with the homeless. Like, uh... I, always, I refuse, you ever you see a homeless guy that's a little too clean for you, you know? You don't want, you don't want to give him money, he's like too clean. Because you don't want to get suckered. You know, you don't want to be taken advantage of, I just like, you're too clean. You're not giving me that homelessy vibe that I want from you, you know? I want, I need like that one crazy dreadlock, you know? I just want to feel it from you, you know? Because, but think about like how horrible that is. Because he's the one who's on the edge, you know? Like $20 either way, he can get a job. We don't want to help him. No, 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 no. We're just giving money to the people that have no chance. Just throwing money in a hole, basically. Just the crazier they are. I was like, dude, that guy's tap dancing. He's wearing butter as a hat. There you go. Take that. Keep that up. That is entertaining. And the thing is, the crazier they are, how do they even know what to do with currency at this point? I mean, let's be honest. They're just like, all right, here's some more green paper I have no idea what to do with. Let's put it in the cart. I think they want soup. That's why they hold out a cup. That's all I'm saying. All right, good. You guys love to laugh. Appreciate that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to meet girls. I recently, okay, I recently started dating a girl who is far too attractive for me. I don't know how it happened. I'm just going to go with it. I'm just trying not to screw it up at this point. But it's like far too attractive for me. And I can tell because the way my friends react, they talk to me one of two ways. Either like I bought a really nice car they didn't know I could afford. And they're kind of like, not, that's, an, that's a nice car, dude. I didn't know you. How did that happen exactly? <laughs> how did you get that lease? Or it's like I'm disarming a bomb. And they're just like, okay, dude, you can't screw this up. You've got to be very, very careful. This will never happen to you again. Oh, my God. Am I hideous? Do you hate me? Why are we friends if you think I'm this disgusting? I don't know. I need new friends, basically, is what I'm saying. I'm bad at meeting women. I don't know how to talk to them and stuff. I see guys do it, like, on the real world or whatever. They do it well. <laughs> they're always they're just so, like, laid back, like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Are you kicking? I don't know if you're supposed to, like, take it out or show it to them or something. I don't really get it. <laughs> Whenever I see a girl I like, I just want to, like, wipe a booger on her and run away. I love you! Like that. <laughs> Which isn't that sexy, actually. Very, I'm just very childish. I don't know. I just, I just don't know how to talk to them that well. I get terrible advice. You hear this weird advice, like, you have to be mean to girls in the beginning? You have to be mean to them. Is that true? Yeah, it is. It's true. So you don't want to say it because it's weird, but it is totally true. You have to be mean to them for some reason. So, like, I'm talking to a girl and it's going okay... I'm like, oh, dude, dude, be mean to her, be mean to her. So I'm like, oh, cool, you went to your parents' house? I just slap her directly in the face. Because <laughs> I really liked her, you know what I'm saying? And I want her to know that. <laughs> We're going out Thursday. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> and then you hear, women love danger. What, what the hell does that mean? Am I supposed to just like saddle up to her and be like, hey, hey, I think I have smallpox. <laughs> smallpox. <laughs> I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't get it at all. <laughs> all my guy friends are like good looking, so they give me good looking dude advice, which I can't so much use in the same way that they can. Like, dude, just go to the bar and just kick it, dude, just kick it. <laughs> they come up to you, it's awesome. Like, what are you talking about, dude? I'm not going in your body. I don't know how you think this works. <laughs> I'm going in my body, which means I have to bring cash because I am buying drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Because you can't just hand them that date rape drug. You've got to put it in the drink and swish it around. No, it's true. They get totally pissed. Hey, you're pretty. Eat this. They don't like it at all. At all. Get real uppity about it. Whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. But I need to start saving up. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much right now.
Another reason I'm bummed out, my ex-girlfriend uh, was Mexican, which is awesome. You know what I'm saying. That's right. That's right. They get really angry about it. They're very passionate people. Very passionate. No, it was awesome. The lovemaking? Fantastic. She was like an animal. Like a beast. It's not that it was all that exciting. She was really, really hairy. That's what I'm trying to get at. She had to shave the bottom of her feet. It was intense. It was really strange. Yeah. Just saying. I'm just talking up here. Am I being too real? Is that the problem? Yeah. No, we, had, uh, we used to have role-playing sex. You ever do that? It's awesome. We used to play uh, Border Patrol and the Illegal Alien. We had this little makeshift fence. She'd jump over it and I'd catch her and then we'd do it. It was awesome. It was awesome. No, it was awesome. It was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. Well, no, but we were together a long time, you know? Like, we were thinking about getting married. And the thing is, like, interracial marriage is different. They have different traditions. Like, Mexican wedding is not like a, a white wedding. Like, uh, at a white wedding, they, they, they throw rice. They don't do that at Mexican weddings. They shoot chiclets out of a leaf blower. So... <laughs> I'm just telling you what I've been told. Racism's funny when you're white, because it doesn't affect you at all, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. I, li I like interracial relationships, so that's the thing. I was all excited, because I noticed I like black guys are dating white women all the time, so I was like, oh my god, I'm going to to date black women. Not so much. Not so much. <laughs> the single black women of the world have given me an overwhelming... No, not really. <laughs> not really. It's because we don't have a saying, you know? White guys don't have a saying. Black guys have, you know... If once you go black, you never go back, or whatever. I'll let you know this. Once you go white, I will pay for lots of stuff. So, my credit is spotless. Spotless credit. You want to lease a Ford Escort? I can lease you a Ford Escort. My name's Kevin Christie. You guys are a lot of fun.